Hello everyone, my name is Monica Akech and I'm a beauty pageant director for Somalia and Uganda. My educational background is in managing mega events, I have a master's in that mm. and uh, I have worked with top event producers mm. in regard to pageantry and the fashion industry. So when I looked at the Ugandan scene, I thought of what was lacking and uh, so that's what I want to implement into my existence as a beauty pageant director. And uh, since I came into the limelight, I've had quite successes in terms of how I've managed the beauty pageant queens. So we had Miss International and uh, she's the highest title holder in Uganda mm. and she was third placed. Now I have Miss Somalia, she made it to the top 40 and we had just one week to prepare her. We expect a new Miss Ark descent okay. and some new adjustments because since I got the franchise, mm. um, uh, we had to do everything virtually because of COVID mm. and all that it entails. So we haven't yet shown um, the viewers and Ugandans what we can do when we have to run everything normally. And it takes commitment, dedication, as well as partnerships. So for the two year gap, I can imagine the previous franchise holder was not able to meet so many requirements mm -hmm. that uh, entail finances. So um, I've used the opportunity to partner with more people and uh, probably put myself in a position whereby we can be able to put up a good event mm -hmm. and select the best representative. Not only a beautiful girl, but someone that embodies the conservation narrative and many other elements. Normally when we put up announcements online mm -hmm. and follow the registration process digitally, mm -hmm. we do get a lot of inquiries. And when we have the best of the best, that's when we can do the district interaction. Mm -hmm. For us, we have a TV show whereby we select the top 15 girls from different districts in the country, actually 16, and we train them for that time period. And then we put them on camera and test them on different challenges and invite the public to come and vote or see how these girls are. Because ideally, before things used to happen behind the scenes. Yeah. So now we bring it to the limelight. And before we put them on camera, they go through trainings mm -hmm. behind the scenes. And then that will be followed through with a grand finale. So that's the different element to how we're going to manage our events. We partner with the UN Association in Uganda and uh, we try, which also links with the UNEP. So most of our programs are within that line. And I do get lots of requests by many other environmental organizations whether we can work together with them, not only in Uganda, but in other areas. Um, well, first of all, I try to limit my transportation uh, if I can I I use um, less energy um, how do you say I use transportation that doesn't really pollute the environment as such mm -hmm. if I can and I avoid traveling often um, my energy levels in the house I use lots of lead and if possible renewable energy so yeah those are two ways to which I do that. And I also try to avoid wearing stuff that are animal oriented or products that are animal made. Uh, when it comes to recycling and uh, food, I don't really waste food. I eat what's enough. But I can't say I'm a saint that I do all the things that we preach, mm -hmm. uh, which should be the case. So I try to live within a realistic yeah. means of living. So to all Ugandan girls, um, especially within the age bracket of 18 to 26. Um, I'd like to tell you that, first of all, you should believe in yourself, that you're beautiful, irrespective of how you look, your skin color, your size, your weight. The fact that you believe in yourself is already a win. And secondly, um, it's a very sensitive age because most of the girls, like you, haven't really identified what you want to do in your life or in your future. And it's a time where you need to go slow because it's a very decisive age. And uh, what I would advise you is, it always works out eventually. If you have very good mentors, if you, you know, just avoid social media if you can, because there's a lot of mistrust. Social media is not real. Um, it has some realness, but that's like 10%. The 90% is fake. Um, if you 
just have mentors who've done incredible things in, in this world and follow them through, I believe you can, you know, move mountains.